This is the reason why you should eat on day on day in one bite, okay? And don't try like the food porn shot because it's not gonna work. Look at this. <laughs> Go. Welcome to another episode of Eatbook Vlogs. This is actually our 100th episode and so we'll be doing something really special today. Being a Singaporean who is extremely passionate about local food, I will be befriending some tourists on the street today and instead of letting them try our signature chili crab and chicken rice, we will be treating them to some traditional Nyonya Kuis. Let's go shopping! Got Onde Onde from Nick Lim Nyonya Cake Confectionery. Before we let the tourists try, of course I'm gonna try first. I must QC ma ho. The coconut smell is so strong that even before I open it up, I could smell it from afar. And the trick is you must eat everything in one bite so that it won't get messy. It tastes just like the Onde Onde that we know and we are very familiar with. The pandan glutinous rice is super chewy. This is the kind of center, right, that doesn't have the gula melaka solidified. It is really just liquid, like burst in your mouth when you bite into it. And the coconut gives a very, very nice texture to it. It's bound to surprise the tourists. I'm very excited to see how they think about this. Now, let's move on and get more quiz. Next, we are here at Si Xiang and we got Angku Kui. So funny story, on our way here, our Grab driver saw that we were Kui hopping. So he started telling me um, stories about how he used to actually make Angku Kui from scratch as a kid with his mom. Just pour the thing over and then sprinkle all those things. So yeah. Just roll it. He got me so pumped up to eat this Angku Kui now. The skin is extremely stretchy. I wouldn't say it's chewy at all. And it is well complemented with the filling, which is very simple. It's really coarse peanuts and sugar. This is a very nostalgic flavour to me. Now we're at Molly's. They specialise in Nyonya delicacies and we've got kue lapis of course and lemper udang. So people eat this kue very differently. Some of them just eat like so. I like to peel layer by layer. Whoa, this is the fun part because it's so stretchy and soft. I would say this kue doesn't have a very complex flavour. It is very simple. It is just sweet. It is the mouthfeel that is so addictive. Next, we are going to try lemper udang. This consists of glutinous rice and also spicy shrimp paste. It is so flavourful, like the glutinous rice itself, it is very dense. So once you bite into it, the surprise centre, there's like two very different kinds of texture. It is spicy, it is savoury, it definitely cuts through all the sweetness that I've had just now of all the other kueis. Now that we've got all the kueis we need, let's find some tourists. Hello, my name is Nick. My name is Dario. We're from Italy. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm originally from Cambodia, okay. but I was born in, uh, in France. Hi, everyone. I'm Taiwan. I'm Solomon. I'm Ashley. What have you eaten so far? Singaporean food. Laksa. Wow. Mala. Mala chan. Okay. Wow. Uh, chicken rice. Wait, let's eat the Ah, Today I'm gonna let you try something that people don't really know. It is called traditional nyonya kue. Have you heard of kue before? So it's like dry dry pork uh, meat, right? Dry pork meat? No, no. Kue no. tiao? <laughs> kue is like a dessert snack. Yep. Usually bite size and you will pair it together with tea. So this is the first one. It's I've called. seen that. You've seen that? I, I think we have wow. that in the Philippines. Uh, I've seen it from the movie Crazy Rich Asians. That looks what? like a what? green for a roche. I see coconut. coconut. Wow, <laughs> smart. I mint. 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 <laughs> Xin ping guo ma. Xin ping guo. Matcha tea, maybe? Zuanao yezui. Yes, zuanao yezui. It's very special. It's like it's also a little bit of sugar, so it's a little bit of sugar. The trick is, you have to eat it in one bite. Yep. Okay, because okay. there is something liquid inside. Oh my god, so <laughs> smart! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There is what inside? There is something inside. Yeah, it has something inside. Oh no, it's too big of a mouth to fall. <laughs> so this is actually called onde onde. The outside, if you can taste it, it is pandan flavoured glutinous rice. It's a little bit the surprise center is actually gula melaka. I didn't like it that much. It's too, too sweet. Meanwhile. What is it? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> what was this huge reaction? No, Something no. Something gooey. You can spit it out here. <laughs> It was strange. You expect it to be chewier, yeah, but it's actually quite liquidy inside. Yes, and that put me off. Do you have something like this back home? Yeah, yeah I think we no. we called it uh, peachy peachy. How would you rate this out of ten? Uh, um, I would go for eight. Eight. Yeah, I think same for me. Okay. Eight or nine. Wow. You've seen it? No. No. Okay. Can just take a look and make a guess. What is the main ingredient? It's jelly. Aga aga. Aga. Wow. Smell sweet. Smell um, sweet. Maybe the green one is pandan or something like that. Wow. France got pandan. You're teaching yeah. me something new. I, I I didn't know. I thought it's sweet, but it's yeah. not sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's it has a different fragrance. Yeah. Today. This is called kue lapis, and the reason why it has so many layers is it represents longevity. Oh. Yeah, so every so layer, eat... oh. <laughs> but layer by layer, cause <laughs> it's almost like reliving every phase in oh, your life. Okay. It is made using tapioca flour, rice flour, and some colorings. It's actually really nice. Yeah. You? <laughs> I thought kids would like it. It's melt a bit in the mouth, but it's very sweet. Are you surprised by the taste? Not really, because I think uh, it's similar to what we have. Yeah. 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 It's it's cool bit. Oh. Like yam, purple yam, yam yeah. Oh. This Taiwan has a very good taste. 台湾有。台湾你们叫什么？安菇桂。对。At first glance, if I were to tell you it is molded to look like an animal, can you guess which animal this is? Oh my god! Yes, tortoise. Red tortoise. Yeah, tortoise. Do you have any red tortoise in Singapore? No, we don't. We don't. I think it's sweet, maybe because of an exotic fruit. It looks like a tortoise shell because back then Chinese believe that if you eat tortoise, you will achieve longevity and prosperity. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are we allowed to eat the leaf? No, no, we can't eat the leaf. Okay, so this is banana leaf. It's oh, just to keep leaf. them separated from one another. Oh, no, it's uh, better than plastic, isn't it? Yeah. So can you guess the flavour or what is your first impression just by looking at it? Uh, watermelon. Oh, oh about yeah, you? that's a good guess. I, I would have said strawberry. Oh, there's peanuts inside. Mm, I yes. like it. We eat this during uh, important festivals like Chinese New Year. This is our offering to the Chinese deities. So, you can see what is different from Taiwan. Taiwan is only green. Is it green? It's green. It's good, but um, I don't really like it because too much peanuts. Well, I love peanut butter and it does taste like peanut butter. Like peanut butter. butter. I'm not so fond of peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter. 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 Wow. Nine, 8.5. For me, it's a nine. It's nine. Ten. Ten. I don't like it. Okay, it's fine. I think it's four. Four. Because you don't like peanut? Yeah, not that much. It's different from our sweets, but I like it. Is it a sticky rice inside? Oh my god. Oh yeah, I know that. Oh my god. And there's a banana inside. Banana inside? No, no, no. No, no banana. What do you think this is? Just rice? With something inside? Yeah, with filling. You think it's what it's in the inside? Wow! Soy sauce or something? No, I don't think it's soy. It's a bit spicy, but I don't know what it is. Is it like fish? Dry fish? It's crunchy at times. Can it be crab or prawns in it? This is like XO jiang. XO jiang, okay. It's really nice, it's really special. This is actually called Lemper udang. Mm. So on the outside, you are correct. It is glutinous rice. Yeah. On the inside, it is samba shrimp paste. We call it hebi hiam. It's a dialect. Hebi hiam. Wow, pronunciation <laughs> good. Eh. <laughs> this, if I buy, I will buy. This is good. I have to buy more. I know you don't like it. No, we will eat this. Good. So, what will you give us? Ten. I really like the spicy afterwards and the prone uh, yeah. taste in general. Like the seven. I'll give you the five because okay. I like the taste. Yeah. But the sticky part is yeah, a bit uh, too heavy for me. How do you pronounce this? La, 
long. I can't remember. <laughs> Honestly, I'm sorry. I can't remember. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you can say something in German as well. Okay, teach me something. Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is that? It's squirrel. 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 Yeah. Whew. What an experience! Before I actually went out and approached people and started filming them, I was actually a bit nervous and scared because number one, I'm scared that they will be wary of me. Number two, will they like the traditional Nyonya Kue that I like so much? And surprisingly, everyone was so friendly. Most of them like all the traditional Nyonya Kue's that they tried. A lot of them related it back to something they have similar back home. And it made me want to try. Like I want to try Ube. I want to try, what's that? Pichi Pichi. <laughs> like I said to all the tourists that I befriended today, Singapore is more than just chicken rice and chili crab. We have all the underrated food that are very Singaporean. So if you want to see tourists trying other types of Singapore, Food, let us know in the comment section below. Danke, dass ihr bei Eatbook eingeschaltet habt. Wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, dann liked es und teilt es und abonniert den Channel. Bye bye. Tschüss. Eichkönken. <lacht>